हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट द ऑप्शन ऑफ डायनेमिक इनपुट इन ऑटो कैड सो डायनेमिक इनपुट कैन बी फाउंड ऑन द स्टेटस बार इट कैन बी एक्टिवेटेड बाय प्रेसिंग एफ ट्वेल्व सो एफ ट्वेल्व इज द फंक्शन की और द शॉर्टकट की टू एक्टिवेट डायनेमिक इनपुट राइट सो इफ यू सी ऑन द स्क्रीन दिस इज द ऑप्शन फॉर डायनेमिक इनपुट right so you can just click over here to activate it or again you want to deactivate again you can click so if it is highlighted by blue color it is activated if it is you know not highlighted it means it is deactivated so even if you press f12 then also you can activate or deactivate it okay so let us go to line command I am selecting line command, right? Specify first point. So I am just randomly I am clicking over here. Let us suppose this is the first point. Now I want to draw a line. Let us suppose at the rate fifty less than zero, right? So this will draw a line of fifty m mm, mm and at an angle of zero degree. So I press enter. so this is the line right so if i activate dynamic input by pressing f12 so you can see there is a small uh, option along with the cursor you can see specify next point means you can enter the values or you can enter the command adjacent to the cursor right so if i write at the rate 50 less than 90 so you can see now i was unable to write under this command box okay so i was able to write along with the cursor so i press enter so as i press enter you will be able to draw a line okay it is just like you are not entering the command in the command prompt okay and you are entering the values or you are entering the command adjacent to the cursor right so this is one option of uh, dynamic input okay then next is again i go to line command just to explain what is dynamic input remember this dynamic input to only work if you are in some command some draw command or some other command right so let us suppose like this is the first point of the line okay so i am drawing a line of 50 mm right so you write 50 length of line and press tab so as you press tab key what will happen it will freeze the length of the line you can see now i am moving my cursor up and down the length of line is not changing right so now i can enter the angle also whatever angle is required you can enter that angle let us suppose the angle is equal to 60 degree so i am writing 60 and pressing enter so as you will press enter this line has been drawn at an angle of 60 degree with respect to this horizontal line or 0 degree let me just show the angle also so this is 60 degree right so this is dynamic input lot of students have uh, confusion in this option like i let me just turn on the settings so under settings you go to pointer input settings so under this if relative coordinates are selected let us suppose this relative coordinates are selected so press okay press okay i want to draw a line first point is 0 comma 0 
right so it has been started from 0 comma 0 you can see the origin now if I want to enter let us say 50 comma 50 right so if I enter 50 comma 50 you can see here it is at the rate 50 comma 50 okay so I had entered it in absolute coordinate system but it has taken it in the form of relative coordinates so it, it has already added at the rate 50 comma 50 okay so this is actually you no know, incorrect format so if I want to enter any value which is in absolute coordinates so I'll just right click on dynamic input go to dynamic input settings go to these settings and here you need to select absolute coordinates okay select absolute coordinates press ok press ok again now if you enter let us say it is 60 comma 0 if you enter 60 comma 0 so it is you can see this this is 60 comma 0 and here also it is 60 comma 0 only it is not at the rate 60 comma 0 okay so if you are facing this problem that you are entering the values in the form of absolute coordinate system okay and you are getting the output in the form of relative coordinates so what you can do is you just go to dynamic input right click on dynamic input go to dynamic input settings go to pointer input settings and here you convert or you change from relative coordinates to absolute coordinates right so thank you very much i suppose dynamic input is clear to you